complete source of blessing on the planet. He's the best in the generation. He's done everything that's asked him. He's undefeated. Um, and he's fighting another undefeated heavyweight. So the winner of those, winner of the, that fight will be will be the man. Frank, Chantel Cameron is a pound for pound top three female fighter. I mean, how big of a coup is it for Queensbury to have her on board? It's a big coup and we're delighted. I mean, my son George done the deal with them, with her and her team. And I'm really delighted that we're that she's on board with us because I think she's a great addition to the Queensbury roster of fighters. She's, as you say, she's the top three. I mean, that's brilliant. We've got to get her into the top, uh, top place now. We've got to give her the opportunities that she can really you know, confirm and show she's the best out there. Definitely as well. Today, Pierce O'Leary, he teased some fight news. I, mean, uh, I spoke to him after his last fight in, uh, in Birmingham. Is he going to get that uh, Ireland homecoming? Yeah, well, he's got the show. We're announcing the show and, uh, and he, he, he'll be, I think everybody's going to be delighted what's going to happen there. Perfect. We look forward to that. And oh, sorry, what last one from me? Nathan, Nathan Heaney as well. There was a lot of talk about him potentially going into a world title fight as well. It might have silenced then. Have we got an update on Nathan? We are announcing next week his next fight. I look forward to seeing it. Final one from me. I asked Eddie Hearn the same question to this. A week before the 5v5, we've got Clark Zorro as well. And then we've got the 5v5 going into that. Have we got any other potential Queensby Matchroom lineups outside of the 5v5? Yeah, I think we're talking. We've got a few things we're working on. And uh, I want to get another 5v5 off because he, he's going to want a rematch after we whap these arse. Definitely. And on that 5v5, what's uh, kind of your, your pick of the bunch, mate? I've got to tell you something. I think every one of our guys are in good fights. I think they're, you know, they're, they're very good fights. Uh, there isn't one, there's not a standout fight. They're good fights. All of them are very good fights. They're all, and all career defining fights for everybody. And Nick Ball potentially becoming a world champion as well. He should be a unified world champion. Definitely. Cheers, Frank.